Jamal Adams from the New York Jets. He wants to trade. He wants to trade because the New York Jets don't want to give him the money that he wants. Now, Jamal Adams is a hell of a player. I got to keep it real with you. Since day one, he came to the Jets. Hell of a player. I haven't seen a player like that in the New York Jets since Rebus. Since, um, um, how you call him? Rebus, um, oh my God. Uh, the wide receiver, Wayne Cabet, and other Jets that we had that was, was successful in the Jets. Now, the Jets could hold him. Remember, he got two more years with the Jets. So, I say this, and a lot of other people are saying it. Jamal, you want to get paid. I know you do. So, come back. Come back, shut up, hold it down. Play one more year, and I guarantee you, if you have a good fucking year like you've been having... The Jets will give you that money. And you also got to understand this, Jamal. You know, we don't know what's going to happen with the, with, with, the, with the fans. Because when the fans go and watch a game, remember that money that the fans pay to watch you, Jamal, is for you to get paid and also for the... For the for the for the for the for the for the rest of the for the rest of the guys, and the franchise, and the cast base, you know Jamal, you right now are being selfish, man, and you are my best player. My best player, you and Robbie Anderson are my best players. But Robbie left. Well, you know, he left. You know what I'm saying? But you, Jamal. Come on, Jamal. The New York Jets drafted you. I believe you was, what, six? Don't bite the hand that feeds you, Jamal. Don't bite the hand that feeds you. And that's what you are doing. Now, this little stunt that you're doing, because I believe you want to go to Dallas. Now you, you don't care what team you go to. Okay, no problem. So, you know, you don't want to stay? I'm like this, man. If you have a girlfriend and she doesn't love you no more, you have to let her go. Because if you don't let her go, it's going to be problems every day. She ain't going to want to have sex with you. She ain't going to want to kiss you. So that means your mind ain't going to want to play. He's going to make, you know... And if he does play, is he going to give it his all? You know? And being honest, and if he does something like that, all he's going to do is bring down his points. Because that man is a hell of a fucking um, um, safety. Now, he got, let's say he does play this year with the Jets. And let's say he wants to hold back. That's going to look bad on you, Jamal. So play one more year. And then see what happens. And then I could say, pay you. Pay that man. But right now, Jamal, come on. Come on, my brother. Just don't understand, man. You know, I'm pretty sure you have a few millions on you already. You got a few millions. And, um, you know, stop being selfish, my brother. Because a lot of people right now would love to have your position. And there's a lot of people out there that wasn't signed that could play just like you. Look at Robbie Anderson, a walking, a fucking walking. The Jets was willing to give him 12 million, but he wanted 20 million. What 20 million for two years, something like that? 10 million a year? Come on, the Jets would have gave him that. But no, it's all about money. What happened to the good old fun of playing the game and representing the team that you play for and giving it your all? All that's went out the window. All that went out the window because you feel 
that you are the best player in the Jets, so you feel that you should get the most money. Wow, Jamal. I had a lot of respect. I got a lot of respect for your father. And I don't know if your father is agreeing with me or he's with you. Of course, he's going to stand by you. But your father should be smarter and tell you the same thing that I'm saying. Play one more year. After that, man, give yo, they have to pay you. And if not, go on your way. But right now, Jamal, I'm very, very disappointed in you. And also, a lot of fans are disappointed in you. This is me, K Solo. And this is Rikers Island Stories, a.k.a. the K Solo Show. Wow. <laughs>